everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio here with a summer project for my art room door. Let me move this out of the way here so you can see the paper better. So I was sitting in the chair watching YouTube and I had inspiration. All of a sudden, ah, it happens. So I decided that since one of my most favorite fruits in the summer is watermelon, I'm going to make a watermelon wreath like I did with the tulips and the light bulbs. And this will hang on my art room door probably for the whole summer because I'm too lazy to think of anything else. <laughs> so what I did was I just kind of freehanded everything and now I am into the painting part and I almost forgot to turn the camera on. So the first color I am using, let me look at my card, is Daniel Smith Sap Green which is what I am doing the rind for the watermelons and I'm, I drew them out on pencil first, in pencil. And I'm going to cut around the pencil mark when it's time to cut them apart. So I do have some gouache for the black seeds, or I can use Posca black markers. All right, here is the first one, which just looks like green smiley faces. <laughs> All right, let me get another piece of B paper. Oh, there's two. Okay, let's go with this one. And then I'm just going to take a pencil. I do like the little pie-shaped slices. So this is how I did the first sheet, was just free handing them on here. No rhyme or reason, that's kind of skinny. We don't like skinny pieces. Need a bigger piece. Because I know I would want a bigger piece. If I'm going to get wet and the bugs are going to drive me crazy while I'm eating it, it's going to have to be worth it. I was out watering our plants in the front this morning. And we have a water feature out front and it was a floating yellow jacket and I feel bad that he got in a little too close to the water fountain where there's no rocks or anything to support him and he drowned and I feel bad about that so we're going to have to try to come up with some kind of a better system for not letting the bugs, even though I'm not crazy about wasps, um, I don't want them to die getting a drink of water. The fountain in the backyard is much safer for him. As a matter of fact, I keep meeting, I think it's the same yellow jacket over and over every day while he's there getting a drink of water. I'm filling it up because evaporation is, is horrible. So, um, I'm out there every morning filling up the water feature in the backyard for the birds that eat out of the feeder we've got back there. And I think I've seen the same yellow jacket four or five days in a row getting a little sip of water, which I'm thrilled about that we could help him out because, you know, it was 102. It's hot as Hades here. And this is just June. I'm just concerned about what July and August are going to be like like because those are typically our hottest months of the year here where I live in Texas. I think we're going to fry. I think we're just going to fry. And we haven't had rain in like forever. Um, and we have a water collection system so we don't have to use our paid water to water the garden. And uh, today I was, you know, poking the barrels to heal that, hear that thump noise. Sounds a little hollow. Then when I went to fill up the um, watering cans, it was like a trickle. So I think we're getting down to next to nothingness, which does not make me happy because I know my husband's going to say, well, we need to use the hose. And I'm thinking, well, there goes my budget. I don't know. Do we want to pay an extra $50 a month in water to get 10 tomatoes and 5 cucumbers? I don't think so. Um, finish painting these. And then when I come back, I'll show you the red. 
and then I will cut them out and glue them on and show you the finished product. Okay, so I found um, a third piece of watercolor paper. This is a long skinny one. I'm not sure if this is B paper or not. Actually, this is B paper. Okay, so I went ahead and painted the two shades of green and I did um, dip into the um, red from the Shihan Korean watercolors and I have my daisy wheel here and I'm adding a lot of water to it because that red was really too red and now it's too light. Okay, so now we're going back to the red. Mix in more pigment. Let's see. Yeah, I think I like it a little bit darker than this one. So um, the reason these are small is because I'm going to use these for fodder at a later date. And I figure that, you know, some of them will go on the wreath. And whatever I don't use on the wreath will go into my fodder book. And then I will use it whenever I can. All right, so I have two more pages of this to do, and I'm going to do those off camera. I'm not even gonna fast forward through it because it's just the same thing, just, you know, putting them on there. I need to go back and get, take out some of this liquid out of some of these that are really juicy and are running into the other watermelon slices. I think these look kind of cool. I'm liking it, and uh, I'm not sure, I'll probably do the seeds after I cut these things out. Yeah, I might do it that way. I really like these. I'm surprised. Okay, let me do the other two pages and I'll be back. Since watching grass grow and waiting for paint to dry is not that exciting, I went out to my newest local coffee shop and I got myself a dark chocolate mocha frappuccino. OMG, it's really good. The nearest Starbucks to me is half an hour away. And honestly, I'm not getting in the car to drive half an hour down the... Um, down the road at 4.45 a gallon just to get a frappuccino. I'm not that crazy. Well, maybe I am, but not today. Anyway, all right, so I got everybody cut out. These are the little bitties, and these were the medium-sized ones. I don't know if I'm going to have enough. I might have to supplement with some of these. So now we have to do the round portion, and I think what I used was something like this for the inner circle, but I can't remember what the outer was. Oh my word, I'm gonna have to go back and look at my old videos. I'll be right back. Okay, I have spent the last 20 minutes looking for what I used in the other videos after I looked the other videos. I think I don't own it anymore because I can't find it anywhere. So I'm looking around at all the stuff I own and I'm thinking, this is nuts. I have all this cool stuff in here. And do I have anything that's the right size? Oh, no. Now I'm looking for a pencil with an eraser on the end of it. And now I can't find that either. I am batting a thousand today. What you, <laughs> what's going on here? Ah, here it is. So I went in the kitchen and I have resorted to using kitchenware. Whoop, there's a crack in the bowl, a divot in the bowl over here. The one one that cracked. All right, this is it. And then I am going to need a middle portion. Do I want to use this? That is too open. Uh, okay. <laughs> do we want to use the lid from our mocha frappuccino? Yes, we do! <laughs> Any round thing will do, right? Well, no, not exactly, but... 
in this case. Yup! <laughs> That'll do it! <laughs> Listen, I'm not above using stuff from the kitchen or the garbage. Isn't that why we make junk journals? Just saying. All right, let me cut this thing out. This is, gr I think this is called Dove Gray cardstock. I thought it was white. I wasn't paying attention when I bought it years ago. And I've like, you know, I have tons of it and I keep trying to use it on stuff nobody will see to get rid of it. So today's the day that one piece is gonna bite the dust. Yes! All right, I did think about using a red or a green and I thought, no, I gotta get rid of this stuff. So, this be how it's gonna be. Let's see, we're gonna cut the center out. It doesn't have to be pretty because they'll be overlapping. Wow, I didn't realize that cup was so, the top of this cup was so, oh, I guess it is. Okay, hmm. When I, the girl asked me what size, I said, large, honey, I didn't get in the car in the heat to get a small. Now, come on. Small. Is she crazy? Huh. All right, so last time I made this, I think I used Extreme Elmers, and I hate to use my Elmers up because evidently it's it, it's like looking for Yetis. So I'm going to use my um, other kind of glue. What do we call this stuff? PDA. I'm sorry. I I'm so excited about getting a, a dark chocolate mocha frappe. I just can't hardly stand it. All right, let's do this up here. I don't need for, oh, I don't need for this to be round or perfect. Frankly, I don't care. I just want it to be cute. All right, so I think I'm going to lay the base with the halves. Uh, maybe. Okay, come on. You know you want to do this. Come on. I still have not bought any of that. What do they call that stuff? Glitter glue. I still haven't bought any of it. Eventually I'll get around to doing it. Right now it's not on my list of priorities. I did order two new sets of knitting needles though, but they're both the same size and I have got two pairs of socks on the needles and I've lost one needle and I said, eh, let me just go ahead and order two more sets. That gives me 10 needles, 10 more needles, which is what I require when I knit two socks separately. So I decided to go ahead and um, order those. So those will be in the mail, hopefully before Christmas. And that way, if I lose a needle, I'll be okay because I do have one or two other sets that are in socks currently. And um, that's going to make glue on there. Ooh. Um, so that'll be okay. So, spent money twice today. Oh my word. Okay. This is on watercolor paper, so it's starting to bend just a tad because of the wetness of the glue. Maybe I should use the extreme stuff. Yeah, but I don't think it sticks real real well for watercolor paper. So I want to lay down a nice base. Come on. And that way, then in between all this other stuff, I will put the slices. Well, I think I might have enough to do the whole wreath. I'm, I'm thinking so. Do I want, I need a skinnier one here to fit right on the, this one right here. It's a skinny one. Um, I think I probably have enough to do this whole thing and then have a whole pocket in my fodder book 
for just miscellaneous painted watermelons, which suits me just fine. It's not like, you know, I won't use them all this year, but it'll be okay. Not like they spoil. All right, so let's do another one here. This is a big one. I don't, I have a watermelon stamp, but I think it's a very smallish size one. I have glue all over the place. By the time I get finished, I'm wasting glue because I'm not sure where I'm going to set it on there. I guess I ought to, what they call it, audition it first before I put it on there. That's what we got so far. Oh, uh, let's do this one. Let's do this one. Oh, that looks so cute! Okay. I don't know if I have any ribbon. I will go look later. When I went up to the Lazy Llama to go get this wonderful thing here, they have the farm little farmer's market outside the doors in that shopping center that it's in. We used to have a nice farmer's market here, but the town, one town over, has a really big one, and you can't be two places at once, so I think we've lost a lot of people out of the farmer's market to the bigger city. Plus the fact that they moved the location from in town to outside the city limits, or close to outside the city limits, and a lot of people just Unless you live that direction, you're not not inclined to head that direction. Oh, I put glue on it now. I don't know where to put it. No. Oh. Fiddlesticks. All right. So I think we need to start filling in with the slices. I'm not sure I need that big piece right now. Set that aside. Maybe it'll be the pièce de résistance later. Wonder if I should use any pop dots for this. That's what I might use the last stuff for. Is a couple pop dots at the end, huh? Ugh! Glue everywhere. I'm so afraid I'm gonna glue it to this, and then pull it up and rip the silly thing. This is not as big as the wreaths that I've made in the past because what I used in the past was a um, a palette, a, a watercolor palette that was round and um, I don't think I have it anymore. I looked all over for it and can't find the silly thing. I was gifted and bought some beautiful Huh? They're not porcelain. They're well, maybe they are porcelain. White porcelain, you know the the daisy wheel and one that's meant. I love this thing. It's an egg. It's a glass egg carton, and I'll mix colors up in there. I was I I got I think I was gifted that too, and I loved it. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of this plastic thing. And so now I'm living to regret those words because I looked all over for it and can't find it. Yeah, gum it. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have plenty of watermelon stuff. Man, you're gonna see a lot of watermelons in my stuff. <laughs> I think I got a lot left. Okay, maybe I can put a little bitty one there. Yeah. There we go. Anyhow, I'm going to um, fast forward through the rest of this and I'll get back to you whenever I'm finished so you can see how it turned out. Okay, as you can see, I'm a little disorganized here. I see one that doesn't have seeds on it, so I want to separate that from the pack. These will go in my fodder keeper as well as these others that are a little on the large side. I'm going to wait for well, I don't know. Should I wait for this to dry? No. Let me just stick this booger on there. I'll go ahead and use these on there because I've already got glue on it. So it don't take forever for it to dry completely. So I'll put that on there. 
and then I will stick it on. Ta-da! Done. All right, so there it is. There's no symmetry to it. There's nothing that makes any sense. And that is why I like it. I did use pop dots on one, two, three, four, five of these. I thought that would be okay. It's mine. I get to do what I want to it, right? Okay, and there it is. My summer hanger for the door. I'm going to go look for some red grow grain ribbon to hold it on the hook on the front on the art room door and then I have my summer themed fruit wreath. Let's see, I've got tulips, which is spring. This is summer. I'm going to need one for fall, so probably in the fall I'll come back. I already know what I want to do it. I want to use fall leaves and I will do one for fall. So then I'll have four, one for every season, and I'll switch them out. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. Please like, share, and subscribe. Come back and see me another time. See you in the next video. Bye, y'all.